behavior change shouldn't be rocket science. It should be accessible, which is exactly what the center is trying to do with the Well Body exhibit. So the thing that makes this so much fun for us is that we're using advanced learning theories about what people actually need to do in order to be educated and putting them into action in this exhibit. In our children, obesity is epidemic. In the adults, it's epidemic as well. Um, and so there's this huge potential actually to do better than we're currently doing and that's what we need to capitalize on and that's why this exhibit is so important as part of the answer. Research shows now that this young generation will be the first generation to live shorter lives than their parents, which is stunning and actually un completely unacceptable. We have all of these innovations out there and yet we expect people to live shorter lives because they're not taking care of themselves. Every one of us should be compelled to turn that statistic around. Um, it's, it's not something to take lightly to have a statistic like that. It's always easier to not have the problem in the first place. And that's what prevention is all about. And as a pediatrician, I can certainly appreciate the importance of getting things right in the beginning. It's gonna make the ways that our body works and help people understand why that's important and what's relevant to them in a very entertaining way. The thing that makes this exhibit really unique is its focus on wellness and the recognition that wellness is determined by the behaviors that we engage in. So, educating our kids, educating all of us about the importance of behaviors and about the things that we can do to make those behaviors easy is what we need to do to create wellness in our community. One of the things that I think that's, that's really great about this exhibit is not only is it a good idea, but it's been well executed. And in particular, the Pacific Science Center has gone to extraordinary lengths to invest in getting the best people, the most knowledgeable people in our community together to make sure that the idea is good, but more importantly, that the content is right on and um, withstands the highest tests of science. We have a remarkable board of advisors that has helped us from the beginning in creating the content and experiences that are in this exhibit. This is one of the few places where a donor can have a specific impact on carrying a message forward to hundreds of thousands of people every year for a decade and really start to impact the decision making that people of multiple generations uh, incorporate into their daily lives. This is a way in which the Science Center can contribute to the very goals that we are spending as healthcare systems tens of millions of dollars to try to achieve. The return on this investment, uh, we think, at Group Health is going to be huge. All of us joining together in exhibits like this, can we expect to achieve the outcome we collectively want, which is health. It's timely, it's relevant, um, it is it, uh, aligned with where the health community uh, wants to take us, um, and it couldn't come at a better time. It creates a forum for young people to not just learn about science, but learn about things that really will change how they live their lives. Through exhibits like the wellness exhibit and through community-based activities that all of us can create the piece of the solution that's necessary for our communities to thrive.